loved and secure, and I was. Sadly, my partner died, and I got on, you know, you get on with things, you have to. And later on, when um, I spoke to Bob, I told him, guess what, I've taken up singing. He was very proud of me, he never criticised, he always said, that's great, that's great. Um, apart from one thing, I foolishly bought a Mercedes sports car when I was eight months pregnant, dumped, and I said, I have to cheer myself up. He said, well, maybe, but he said, you know, you're not going to keep it, are you? Years on, the car just got rustier and rustier. He said, you know what you should do? You should sell that car and put that money away for your health and your old age. Did I? No, I didn't. He always said to me over the years, what are you doing with that Mercedes? I said, oh, I don't know. I'll probably sell it one day. When Bob was alone, some years after his wife died, he phoned me and said, would you like to come over for a weekend? And this was so wonderful. I went to the house and I saw the little saint emblem on the door. It was like coming home, being with somebody that I'd known all those years. We were just so comfortable together. We would sit and watch the persuaders, which he was very proud of. Um, we'd go out for dinner sometimes. Or we'd sit in his beautiful garden and read the papers and do crosswords. And sometimes he would nod off, <laughs> which was rather sweet. Bob was a family man, and over the years he talked often of his two daughters, Marilyn and Geraldine, and he was very proud of his grandchildren. I saw Bob at his home a week before he died, and he took me into the front room and we sat down. He was always immaculately dressed. He said to me, how is your son? Is he being good to you? I said, yes. And then he said, now what are you doing about that Mercedes? Have you still got it? <laughs> I said, um, oh yes. He said, well, what are you going to do about it? I said, well, I'll probably sell it in the spring. He looked me squarely in the eyes and he said, no, you won't. <laughs> he knew me so well. But here he was, worried about my welfare when he, had, when he was very, very ill. I cherished many wonderful times I spent with Bob. Um, he enriched my life with his warmth, thank goodness. I gave him a gentle hug and I told him I 